Hello and welcome back to my desk. Today I have an unboxing from the stationery selection that ships from Mits in Japan. And this box is a subscription box. The payment is taken monthly and Mits advertises when the next batch of signups come in. So once you sign up, you're on the subscription until you cancel. But subscription sign up is advertised on Instagram. So obviously you subscribe to different boxes for different reasons and Mrs. Box I subscribe to for the extremely sort of sophisticated Japanese gems that she discovers and ships to us in other countries. And to do this box real justice, you do need to read the card as you go along. And I will dip in and out of that. First up is a postcard which is by a, an artist, I believe local to Mits, having read the brief description. I hope I'm holding it the right way up with the signature here at the bottom, which I believe is the signature. But unfortunately I cannot be sure. So, that's the worst item box. Now, apologize for the shine. We'll try and move some of the shinier items. Oh, they're all shiny. Let's move them all out of the way and actually bring them into shot as I unpack them. So lovely. So first up, since it's not too shiny, let's have a look at the ink that we have. And it is Midnight Black. A colour I don't believe I have, insofar as I don't believe I have any black ink. Tend to go for greens and blues, particularly a forest green or, um, yeah, one called Paris. Dusk is one of my favourite blues, but this is a black, so that's very useful, very versatile, of course. And then in the bottom of the box, again, with shininess, we have a nice pen. Let's see if I can at least show you. It's a uni ball. Let's see if we can have a look at the ink. Oh, one of the little protective thingies. Why is it I always forget about these? And we seem to have a very thin purple ink, which I really like. Quite a sharp feel on the page, and I actually like that. I don't like something that, I like inky, but I like to have sort of precision with my ink. I'm not great with a chunky ink pen, so I really like that. I must actually do a roundup of all the pens that I received, um, all the writing utensils I received in all of the boxes this year. So let's put that to one side. Let's get the description sheet down while we have a look at some of the other things. Lovely, so an acrylic block. I think we all know what an acrylic block is for the stamps. And there is a packet of stamps with this particular subscription this month. So let's have a look at those. So here they are here. Let me just take them out so they're a little less shiny. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. And it is the months of the year. There is of course a piece of cardboard inside which describes what you get. Let's get that out. Lovely. Create your own Monday to Sunday start calendar. Use markers to highlight important dates. And a second generation stamp to mark off a week in the month. Monday or Sunday. Let's have a look at these. So there's your mark the week. Some little decorative items. And then numbers or days of the week oh I can't quite make it out but anyway it is a month calendar which is really nice I like that so you can personalize your bullet journal marvelous I'm actually going to go straight to what seems to be a notebook as it has a black cover seems to be a sort of a well not a black and white theme in this not a black theme but if there is a theme it is somewhat what have we got here? I don't know the manufacturer. Somebody else may recognize it. Of course, made in Japan. So it's not sort of Japanese materials pandering to a European or American market. This is genuine Japanese made for the Japanese market, which I really appreciate. Okay, so I've just managed to accidentally remove the cover of this notebook. And I'm just going to remove the whole cover. It's easier to manipulate it. Coincidentally, Oh, now look at that. That is nice. So it is a very sophisticated black covered notebook. 
as I say, also comes with another cover, which I've accidentally taken off. That's really very nice. And won't this black paper allow me to practice the use of things like, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry about that. The tape that I bought from or Atelier. So that's really nice and I will attempt to put it back together in a few moments. Mitz was saying that she added an additional item and what she means by that is of course additional to the value of the box. Because generally in this box you'll get items that add up to a particular value and then so some months it will be fewer items and some months it will be more items. So this is a really tasteful paper clip. And if we can see on the sheet, let's see if we can figure this out. Ball, acrylic block, chalk ink, clear stamps, notebook. Another really neat, oh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Nope, oh, just a paper clip. I don't know what that means. Well, or if indeed it means anything, it does look to be language. This is not a very successful unboxing. I'm all over the place this afternoon. There we go. And the final item in the box is really quite intriguing. It is a stencil. And again, let me just get this out of its packaging. Oh, the noise, the noise. No oh, dear. Look at that little pointing finger, some circles, triangles, squares. And then you can make some of your own numbers with. The alphabet, very nice, and some numerals. Gosh, that is nice. And some little squealy lines. And if you're somebody like me, who has absolutely no artistic flair, stencils are a go great way to sort of fill out your bullet journal or to do the sorts of things that other people seem to be able to do freehand. So another great box there from Mitz. Really enjoying this box, no intention of cancelling it. The items, as you can see, unique, sophisticated, and a proper Japanese aesthetic as opposed to an exported Japanese aesthetic. So I hope you enjoyed that very quick video about that unboxing and I will see you again soon.